Podcast. I've been talking about this getting back to the basics idea of finance, but let's, I think first you start with a philosophy or way of seeing money. You've got to understand on money, there's three elements, and I talk about this a lot. Time times amount times yield. This is what determines becoming a millionaire, right? I, I, I've seen people say sometimes you don't want to do that. That's crazy. Everyone's got enough time, it makes enough, and the yield is doable to become a millionaire. You can simply do that with the S&P 500. Put three, four, five hundred dollars a month in, do it over your lifetime, you're going to be a millionaire. If you understand that and believe that, that's what gives you the confidence to then step out and become more aggressive. Because, and I talked about this, like we earn money vertical, if you caught last week's class at all, and that time, meaning you do something, go forward, you get paid at the end of the week, end of the month, end of the year, you complete it, you get a thing, but then there's such a thing as horizontal income. So this is money as we're going, but if along the way, we save money and we put money into the SPY, we could use the SPY, or we put money into a house, right? Now these things start to make money vertical as well. So it's not just us, it's now us, the S&P 500, this just represents investing in stocks and then real estate. And the more, more we take our vertical income and convert it into horizontal, so that's a philosophy of going out into the world, taking your time, your talent, your treasure, the shit you're doing, and just keeping it. You're just keeping it to put it in this game of time times amount times yield. And when you get to keep it forever, man, you ain't gotta lock it up in a 401k system far away if you don't want. You know, you, you can, people can learn to manage their own money, to invest in stocks, to see if they're undervalued. You don't have to know the future. You don't have to be right. You just have to understand money, how it compounds. Simple shit like the rule of, of, of 7.2, meaning if you get a 10% return, every 7.2 years, your money doubles. We know the S&P gives us a 9% return. And what if we can create strategies and say real estate that give us 15, 20% returns? Hmm? Just because... It takes a minute just because it's hard doesn't mean it's not doable. And what if we can get stocks that are undervalued by 40, 50% that also throw us off money, you know, maybe up to a, th like I got some stocks that pay me three, four thousand, five thousand dollars a year. Well, if you got 10 or 20 of those and this money's coming in, but that only happens if you have a philosophy of being a person who understands vertical and how to make money horizontal, man. And you're gonna have to do it yourself. They're not gonna do it for you. No one's gonna come and get you and say, hey man, would you like to become a millionaire? You got to decide, I want to be a millionaire. What's the fastest way for me to get there? Because if I can get to a million, a lot of you guys are like, oh, a million is not enough. I know, but let's get there. Getting to two, three, four, and five is easier than getting to one. I'll tell you that. Because the exponential of the compound curve. You ever see a curve? It looks like this. So what I've been advocating to people is start over here, man. Get out of debt. Get rid of debt so that you have money to play this game because something is always on sale. There's always some deal. There's always some wedge. There's always some opportunity. On my live today, we were talking about USA fund. These closed in funds have gone under the 200 day moving average. Well, that's, that's when we got our best returns on oil. When we were buying oil under the 200 day moving average and the commodity was smashed and we started buying oil stocks, right? We want to get on the other side of the cash register. That's what being an investor is about. And no, we're not always going to get it right, but if, but we're, we're not going to get it at all if we don't get it going and if we don't pay attention to this. Build a philosophy on money. Get around this idea of time times amount times yield. Get on this idea that you hate debt. Get on this idea that you're an earner. Get money from your vertical life and put it to work horizontal. Man, you could become rich, 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 but you're going to have to go get it.